Hey, what's up guys? It's Comp from Dual Designs here. And today I'm going to be showing you a quick little Cinema 4D animation tutorial. A cool little trick you could do with your text. Uh, it'll look a little something like this. See where each letter comes in after the other. It'll be a little bit laggy because I'm recording. But um, as you hear, the C, then the O, then the M, then the P comes in like that. And it, it looks a nice effect when you're putting, you know, maybe the name of someone in your intros or uh or the website or something it's just a cool little effect so alright let's get started what you're gonna do is just open cinema 4d I'll just make a new file here uh, once you have your new cinema 4d open go to mo graph mo text and uh, it doesn't really matter what text you have just I'll put whatever I'll put comp like I had um, and then just zoom out, zoom out here doesn't matter what you have after that you could you know you could put all your t your caps and whatever, all your filler caps, whatever you want, any materials you want, you can put that too. But that doesn't really matter. Uh, make sure you have everything you want it to look exactly how you want it to look. Your materials are right, your caps are right, everything is right. That's how you want it to fully render. Because then after that, we're going to separate the letters from the mo text by pressing the letter C one time, the letter C on your keyboard, and opening this. And that creates each letter separate from its own object. So I'll just select all the letters and drag them down so it'll separate them from here. And uh, let me see, hold on. Select all these and press delete so that'll get rid of them. And now you see that each letter is its separate one that you could just move, you know, just move by itself instead of moving the whole thing. Um, so now what you're going to do is select your first letter and uh, move the, actually no, move the keyframe marker to I don't know, you can make it however you want, but I'll just put move it to the 20 for right now. Move the keyframe marker to 20, and press the keyframe button, which is down here. Looks like a key with a red circle inside. And then click, go to the 30 keyframe marker, and press the letter O, or your second letter. And then keyframe key again. Then go to the 40 marker. Thir choose your next letter, keyframe marker. Go to 50. And the next letter, you can have as many letters as you want. It's just obviously this is the last one for me. Just press the keyframe. Then once you have that, just select all of your letters and move the keyframe marker to zero. And move all your letters off the screen so that you can't see them. And press the keyframe marker again. And now what that does, you see here in the blue lines, it just shows you the, the path of which the letters will be taking. And uh, it creates like kind of like a nice little train effect, I guess I like to call it. Um... So now if you press play, you move it back to zero, you press play, and you'll see that the letters all come in one after the other. And you could change it also, those came in a little bit slowly again once because I'm recording, but it'll look a little bit smoother for you guys. And you could also, you know, change the keyframes, because I have them 10 frames apart, but you could always move them, you know, 5 frames apart, so that they the letters come in a little bit quicker after each other. So now I'm gonna have five five keyframes. So let's see how it looks. There you see they came in a little bit closer after each other. So you know it's just a cool little trick that you know looks good on intros and whatnot. Cool animation. Um, hope you guys like the tutorial. If you want more tutorials coming out, make sure you comment and yeah, uh, give us a like so that way uh, you know we could give some more tutorials for you guys. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you liked it.